What's up guys, welcome to iDevice Central channel, I'm Joe Snow. Today I show you how to carry out modifications on a DMG file on Windows. So this was one of the biggest problems on iOS 10 since iOS 10 was released for Windows users because DMG files were read-only, not encrypted but read-only, so Transmac can't handle the modifications on them. Well now it can, actually it has a feature that I promised I will um, I will research and happily it does work. It doesn't corrupt the um, the file. So here it is. I have the uh, this iOS 10, I think it's 10.0.1 IPSW, but 10.x is in general the same. You can make it a zip file and I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Some of you know about this thing, some of you don't. I will show you for those who don't know about this how to do that. Well, I tested the thing and yes, the files are not corrupted at the end. Well, it's good to know. Now, uh, this means that we can finally make tutorials on iCloud Bypass on Windows only. I mean, not half Windows, half OS six, just solely Windows. Of course, I will do that soon if you show appreciation on this video by, of course, commenting or hitting the like button. Uh, and if I see enough support, this means that there are a lot of people that need such a tutorial. So I will make a tutorial on Windows only without using um, OS X. So uh, yes, we're going to extract the file, the DMG file. I'm going to be back in a second. Okay, the file was extracted. I'm going to close the IPSW, open it in Transmac. Transmac is available in the description, comes in 15 days trial, but I think it's enough. So you can see I can open it, iOS 10 is not encrypted, but the files inside it are read-only. Uh, being it read-only is a matter of clicks on OS X, but on Windows it was the biggest problem because there was no way you can transform it. You can see no remove, sorry, no uh, delete, no rename. Yeah. The problem is that there is still no way you can uh, transform the uh, file, but there is a workaround you can do. Uh, actually, you can you can expand it. So going here, you don't have uh, this is strange. You don't have this option on the tools nor here on the file. But if you right click on the DMG, you have expand, uh, and I'm going to go here, name it. That's a strange name, and I'm going to click save, and it will say expanding this image, whatever expanding means, but it does the trick. So I gotta be back, expanding takes a while, this file has 2 gigabit and a half or something like this, let me see. 2 gigabit 04, so the expanding process, so called expanding, will take a little bit. Okay, this took me 10 or 12 minutes to complete. So this isn't the easiest task for your computer. But the file was created, I'm going to say no here. I'm going to uh, rename this thing because it has an ugly name. Okay, and I'm going to open it now in Transmac. So the content of this file is exactly the same, has exactly the same um, label on the uh, partitions, but the contents are not read only. So if I go, go ahead here and uh, get the subject app and delete it, I can easily do that. Okay, so you can now simply place the app, but I'm going to have a tutorial if you support this video soon. So uh, yeah, let's see, uh, let's make a comparison on the uh, sizes, 357 uh, and 204. But that's not a problem, but make sure uh, you will follow up the uh, tutorial and you will have the VAR size changed. You have a VAR size system for calculating the OS VAR size right here in the application I built, toolbox, and where the heck is that? Okay, VAR size calculator. For example, if you accept a number, it gets calculated. So keep that in mind. Okay, this is it guys. You can uh, download the Transmac uh, trial from the description and to not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.